American Sniper is currently one of the most popular movies in the country. It's about the life of Chris Kyle, the sniper with the most confirmed kills in American military history. It focuses on his life, his failures, his successes, and the trauma that he experienced as a soldier. But viewers of the movie may be surprised at the way that it talks about the Iraq War in general. From the very beginning of Kyle's military career, it's about a response to terrorism. He joins the military after we see the bombings of the American embassies in Kenya and Tanzania, and we see his and his wife Taya's stunned reaction to 9-11. But then bam, shortly after that, This got the call, boys. It's on! Kyle's at Warren Rock. There's no intervening time spent on George W. Bush, weapons of mass destruction, or Saddam Hussein. The implication that the viewer gets is that the invasion of Iraq was a logical response to 9-11. Of course, that's not actually what happened. We know that after 9-11, the US invaded Afghanistan, where Al-Qaeda actually was. The decision to invade Iraq came as a result of a pre-existing political project that members of the Bush administration had, and was sold on the pretense of weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. The main reason we went into Iraq at the time was we thought he had weapons of mass destruction. It turns out he didn't, but he had the capacity to make weapons of mass destruction. But I also talked about the human suffering in Iraq. And I also talk the need to advance a freedom agenda. In the movie's narrative, there's no intervening time between the American invasion and Kyle fighting Al-Qaeda in Iraq. He's trained by bin Laden. He is loyal to bin Laden. His name is Arqawi. Now this asshole is right now the crown prince of Al-Qaeda in Iraq. That leaves viewers with the impression that the Iraq war was against Al-Qaeda at the outset and that America invaded Iraq because it had become a hotbed of Al-Qaeda operations. The reverse is true. Al-Qaeda in Iraq grew out of the U.S. invasion. It was weak and wasn't even Al-Qaeda in Iraq when the invasion happened. Its leader, Abu Musab al-Zarqawi, correctly assessed that the U.S. invasion would allow him to build up his group. Eastwood wanted to make a movie about one guy. He didn't set out to make a movie about the Iraq war. The problem is, though he himself is anti-war, he ended up letting the film get wrapped up in Kyle's perspective. Oh, you want these motherfuckers to come to San Diego or New York? <laughs> We're protecting more than just this dirt. While it's easy to go sit at a movie, especially one that tries hard not to shove politics in your face and appreciate it as simply a movie about heroism, this movie isn't just that. It's a movie that's going to leave viewers with a false perception of what happened. 